She was taken to a hospital with moderate injuries. In tonight's You Ask, We Investigate report, the Sky Valley community is alarmed after they discover there are dozens of sex offenders living in their community. The percentage of offenders is so high, it's over four times the state and county averages. They're hoping tonight's city council meeting with county representatives can answer some questions. Olivia Sandusky has more on this. For our area, it's it's uneasy. I almost feel like we're a dumping ground. That's how Tabitha Davies describes her Sky Valley community, a rural, unincorporated part of Riverside County that has 90 registered sex offenders out of less than 2,400 residents. To me, it also puts me in a more uncomfortable position because there's less eyes watching you. The Sky Valley area has three transitional homes, each housing several offenders on probation or parole. The area's sex offender per capita rate is one of the highest in the valley and is about four times higher than both the state and county averages. I mean, my son doesn't feel comfortable going outside and just spending time with the horses like he used to. He really doesn't want to go out there by himself, and I don't I don't want him going out there by himself. After residents told county officials about their concerns, Supervisor Perez's office decided to make the issue an agenda item at a virtual meeting Tuesday night. We were a little stunned because we were unaware that we had a transitional home in in this community, um, but not surprised. Now the community will have a chance to speak directly with different county departments, and Tabitha says she'll be a part of that discussion. I have found errors with the house that we have down the street from us. Like they're using fake addresses, their pin marks are on lots that don't belong to them that are not even homes. They're like shack structures. And while residents want to know why their concentration of offenders is so high, Supervisor Perez's office says they'll address what they can, but believe this is the beginning of a longer conversation. I think that there will be quite a few questions that we can't maybe answer tonight, but it'll be a continuing, a continuing of a dialogue um, so that the community understands. Olivia Sandusky, NBC Palm Springs. That meeting will start at 6 o'clock. Supervisor Perez's office says all residents are encouraged to join in. They say it'll be mostly informational, but they'll welcome any feedback. And remember, if you have a story or an idea, something you'd like us to look into, email us at news at NBCPalmSprings.com. You ask, we'll investigate. Live look now, courtesy of our Agua Caliente Casino cam. Sunny skies, a few of them puffy cloud things. Let's send over Chief Meteorologist Mike Everett, who's got technical words for puffy cloud things. I do indeed, Gino. You know, like a lot of people, I learned how to read from 